Hello, you spiffy people out there. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, smack that like and subscribe button. And you can also follow me on Twitter at ever so spiffy. If your FOMO is coming out and you feel like you're missing out on everything, don't forget to smack that little bell in the corner. So when I do post a video, you won't miss anything. Anyway, today I have an announcement to make. We are getting a puppy today. That's right, folks. This just in. My family is getting a puppy. My dad and my brother went to go pick him up today in Pennsylvania. And so excited. We are getting a new addition to our family. And we couldn't be any happier. So you will get to see that today. That my family did expand. And I will explain later on in the vlog on how that happened. So with that being said, let's get this vlog started. So today I will be showing you what my parents got in their puppy haul for the new puppy. We got some shoe toys over here and things that he could play with so he's not bored, apparently. Some training pads for the bottom of his cage because he'll be needing that in case he goes to the bathroom by accident, if he has any accidents when my parents aren't home. Obviously this cage, so he could be crated all day while they're at work or my brother's at school and he could just stay in there throughout the day and he'll be set with his food and anything that he needs. So this is what basically they got in their haul. Obviously, we bought him some toys as well. I got him all the Star Wars toys. So I got him this little squeaky chewy, a porg, and this little thing for his teeth that he can gnaw on because he will be teething. He's only about a month and a half old or two months old, I would say. And he is a golden doodle. His name is Rook and he will be coming home with us today. But this is everything in their puppy haul that they got for him. Toys, cage, and little pee pee pads. So they will be all awesome. set. guys, here's our dog. So today I'm going to explain to you guys at the end of the puppy vlog why we got Ruck. So basically, August 20th of 2019, seven months ago, we had to put my dog down to be put to sleep. We had a little Shih Tzu named Maddie. He was 19 years old. He lived a great life. But unfortunately, he was very sick at the end. He started going to the bathroom in the house. He was blind and couldn't see and he started hitting into walls. And he was just really sick. Like he had little braised bumps on him. He was getting like tumors and everything. And I was kind of hoping to, you know, let him die at home, which I was kind of hoping for. And that sadly, unfortunately, did not happen with us. We had to bring him in to be put to sleep and I didn't want to have to do that choice. Neither did my parents. We had to, you know, do him a favor and not let him suffer anymore. So we brought him down to the vet and had him being put down to sleep. Uh, my mom called me that day to come over and say goodbye, which I was very fortunate that I 
had gotten a chance to do. I held him and, you know, got to spend some time with him. I even took hair samples and his collar and I made a memory box of him after the fact that we put him down so it would help, you know, ease some of that void. But I'm still hurting about that, no question. So with that being said, my dad had told his friend what had happened. His dog, our dog down and he offered my dad, he was breeding these dogs, they're golden doodles. And he said, if any of them aren't claimed for, which sometimes people back out, they get afraid after they say yes, and it doesn't always work out. So with that being said, the dog was expecting puppies at that time. Like two months after Maddie passed away, we wanted a puppy that we could take it if no one has spoken up or if everybody started backing out, that we would be getting a puppy. So came close to the time that Penny and Chester, which are their dog, the puppies, and they gave birth. And when it was like two weeks or a couple months even to that, people started backing out. So my dad's friend told him, hey, people are backing. And my dad said, yes, of course. So we took one, you know, it's on hold and everything for us. And that he would like a man. With that being said, because Maddie was a boy and he was really good to us. So we got a chance to, you know, have another boy dog. After his dogs gave birth, a month usually before giving them away because they still have to nurse and be with their mom and, you know, get them used to going on their own after about a month or two. My dad didn't really get him until this past Friday. They met in Pennsylvania to go pick him up to be brought here to his forever home. But with that being said, all worked out. We got him and I feel like our puppy, now I call him our rainbow puppy, has his forever home and I'm forever grateful for that, how we got him and it just fills that void in my heart that I had when Maddie passed away. No loss is easy for that matter. If you're going through pet loss or any type of loss for that matter, they are just truly like your baby. As if you lost a loved one, it's the same thing, guys. And I just feel like, you know, that void has been filled and I'm forever grateful for that. And I can enjoy him now and look at this dog that we have and just look at him as a blessing. This dog was meant to be in our family forever, you know, for the next 20 years or so. And I'm grateful for that, that this dog has stepped in our lives. And he is a great dog. I got to spend some time with him and he is truly amazing. And with it being National Puppy Day today, I wanted to share my story and advocate you guys on pet loss. Grief in pet loss, there's no limit. Seven months it took us to get a dog. I mean, seven whole months to fill that void. So yeah, if you guys are looking for a dog, it takes about seven months to a year, even two years, or even whenever you're ready. Loss has no limit, I would say. And by all means, you gotta do your homework on what breed that you want. And it takes time to have that, guys. So with that being said, my advice to you is really look out for what you want in a dog, what breed, what is good for your family, and really educate yourselves on what you really want. Getting a puppy is a big responsibility. It is forever. It is a 20-year commitment. It is a lifetime commitment. So just be sure to make sure that you choose the right one for your family. And always remember to love your pets wholeheartedly and enjoy every aspect, even their personalities even, will bring you a lot of happiness into your life and training them and getting to know them. So with that being said, have a very happy puppy day and enjoy. Love your animals from above and on earth side. And if you like this vlog, like, subscribe. If you did not like, subscribe. And make sure to follow me on Twitter at ever so spiffy. 
Thanks for watching, guys.